We were on board a Helberg Rassi 49, sailing on delivery from Northern Europe to Greece. As we approached the Straits of Gibraltar, we were surrounded by orcas. They were banging into the hull, the keel, and most worryingly the rudder. You can see the wheel spinning from left to right as an orca pushes the rudder from under the yacht. Steering becomes impossible and damage seems highly likely. The advice is to slow down and turn all the systems off, drop the sails and drift until they get bored. It's a nerve-wracking experience. These huge creatures are frightening when you're so close to them. They can weigh up to a whopping six tons and be well over 20 foot in length. There is nothing you can do but wait and hope they'll leave you in peace. We've been delivering yachts in and out of the Mediterranean for years. It's such a common route for us. Until 2020, it was extremely rare to see an orca, even far off in the distance. We certainly didn't have any come close to the boat. In the last 12 months, this has all changed and we've now had numerous run-ins with these beautiful but slightly terrifying creatures. It seems that there is a pod of orcas now intent on getting up close and personal. The frequency of these interactions is increasing and the damage that is caused can result in the yachts needing to be towed into a safe harbour and lifted out for repair. To date there have been more than 50 reports of orcas interacting with boats and of these as many as 25 resulted in the vessel having to be towed to safety. What on earth has caused this all to happen? We've been pondering this question and there are certainly some interesting theories out there. These include ideas that the orcas are using the yachts to practice hunting, going for the rudder because it's like the fin of a large fish or whale, that they are just playing a bit like dolphins do, after all they are part of the same family, that they are angry, they witnessed a family member being killed by a fishing boat and now they want revenge. Some people have even suggested that this could be the beginning of an animal-led global revolution, an attempt to save the planet from destruction by humans. What can you do to avoid meeting the orcas if you're in this area? Our experience is showing us that staying in very shallow water hugely minimises the risk. We now tend to navigate through this area hugging the coast from Cadiz to Tarifa. Using this method we've had numerous yachts get through again without incident. Quite what will happen in the future nobody knows. Orcas are clever and very social. They learn their behaviour from each other. We just hope that this doesn't continue to be the norm. We want to love orcas again, but ideally from slightly further away. <laughs>